Okay, now, although the security on the Android phones have improved a lot in the recent past, the Android phones are still vulnerable to security threats, especially when we install third-party applications. So it's very important for us to make sure we turn on a couple of settings to scan these newly installed applications. And we can also scan these existing applications on the Android phone using this specific feature. And that is what I'm going to break it down for you today in this video. If you haven't been a part of Apex community yet, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about your Android phones, Galaxy watches and anything related to technology. I keep you guys posted with all the new features, new updates that we are going to get on our phones and watches. So become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's go ahead. Let me just open settings here. I will tap on security and privacy. Now here we have got an option called app security. Let me tap on this. There is a lot going on inside the settings. It says turn on the features below to regularly check applications for malware and other suspicious activity. If any problems are found, you will be notified. Now we have two options, app protection and Google Play Protect. Now let me open app protection here first. Now here we have got this option, scan the phone. It says McAfee and Samsung keeps your phone safe by searching for malware and suspicious activities. This is powered by McAfee. And then we have got some special offers from McAfee for Samsung mobile users. Uh, let me come to that in a bit. First, let's tap on scan phone. Now this is scanning all the applications which are currently on the device. You can see it even scans the GoodLock applications and the uh, rest of the third party applications will also be scanned. I have installed loads of applications on my phone and it's imperative that I scan these applications once in a while to make sure there are no threats or malwares on the device. Now I have already done the scanning so let me just go back here. As you can see it says no threats found so the last scan was 10-10-2024 which is today so there is no threats found on the phone. Now let me tap on this three dot button app protection settings we have. Let me tap on this. Now this is where we have got a few toggles. So just make sure you have turned on all these toggles. The first one is turn on app protection to get additional defense against viruses and spyware. And then we have got auto scan apps daily, auto scan when installing the applications. So if you want to scan the applications daily, you can turn this on or once in a while you can come to the settings and scan your phone because the scanning of all the applications may consume a marginal amount of battery. So uh, you can turn this off if you don't want it and once in a while you can uh, scan it but if you tend to forget that you can keep this turned on and then we have got auto scan when installing the application so whenever you install a new application that will be automatically scanned this is very important guys you need to make sure this is turned on on your device it says daily scans only run when your phone is charging and the screen is off some low risk applications may not be scanned every day now this is something to note here. They will not scan the low risk applications every day. Uh, the daily scans only run when the phone is charging and screen is off. So in that case, I think the battery consumption should not matter. So uh, you might as well turn this on. Now let me just go back here. Now here, let me tap on check offers. This is from McAfee. Now I do not promote this. Uh, just in case if you need this, you can uh, use this McAfee antivirus, but I don't really think you need this. The basic security should be good enough. And every month, make sure you install all the security patches that you get on your device. Now this is the McAfee uh, Live Safe device protection. It costs about 500 rupees here in India, which translates to about $6. And here it says price shown is for the first year only. And then probably this subscription has to be renewed. Now, like I said, I don't suggest you to do this. Just in case if you really need this protection, you can go ahead and purchase this subscription. Now, this is the app protection we have. Let me just go back here. The next option is Google Play Protect. Let me tap on this. Now, here it says no harmful applications found. Play Protect scanned yesterday. Again, uh, this is the second option for scanning these applications we have. This is from the Google's end and the other one is from the Samsung's end. When I tap on this, it says McAfee and Samsung keeps your phone safe by searching for malware and suspicious activities. And the second option is from Google. This is Google Play Protect. Now, if you want to scan all the applications here, you can scan this as well. It's always better to scan the device using both the options. You just tap on scan it will start scanning all the applications that we have. I've got more than 170 applications here. All these applications are recently scanned already and it says no harmful applications found. Now let me just tap on setting options here. Again, we have got two toggles here. Scan apps with Play Protect. Play Protect can scan this device and warn you about harmful apps. Then it says improve harmful application detection. Send unknown applications to Google for better detection. So it sends some data to Google using this particular option. So that is what we have here. 
Now, these are a couple of very important security features we have got for scanning your applications on the device. Make sure you have turned on all these options and you have scanned your phone at least once in a while or you have turned on the auto scan on the settings. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel and this beautiful looking wallpaper here you're seeing is available in the description. You can go ahead and download it from the link in the description. And while you do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.